How's it going? Good to have you back and welcome to the Live Another Life series and the Thieves Guild Hard Answers quest. So uh, let's just crack on. I'm sure it comes as a shock to most of us that uh, Mercer was uh, the guilty party all along. So we've got to go and speak to Enthia in Winterhold. So let's just pop over to the college. And where are we? Uh, okay, just pop in there. I should imagine he's in the pub. I mean, who would have thought it possible that such a charmer like Mercer would have been the uh, the villain of the piece all along, right under our noses, eh? Hey? Who would have thought it? Got warm food, warm okay, there's a little poppet. Let's go have a little chat. Mind if I take a seat? Yes, yes, what is it? I've been sent by Carlia. Carlia? Then she's finally found it. Do you have Gallus's journal? Yes, but there's a problem. problem. Let me see it. Oh, this is just like Gallus. A dear friend, but always too clever for his own good. He's written all of the text in the Falmer language. Can you translate it? No. However, I know someone who might. The court wizard of Markarth, Calselmo, may have the materials you need to get this journal translated. Word of warning. Calselmo is a fierce guardian of his research. Getting the information won't be easy. Okay, you can ask him a load of questions. Actually, something's really interesting about the Falmer as, as well. Besides so, uh, like, why did Gallus describe his journal in Falmer? And Tamriel that even recognized the language? I'm fairly certain he was planning some sort of a heist that involved a deep understanding of the Falmer language. Sadly, we never had the opportunity to speak about the details. Where did he acquire the knowledge to use it? I pointed him in the same direction I pointed you, to Markarth and Calselmo. I'm only hoping whatever means he used to learn the language will still be available to you. He was a dear friend of mine, and a surprisingly astute pupil of academia. Devastated when he was killed. I suppose that risk always coexisted with his line of work. I just never thought his luck would run out. Well, he was an academic, he chose a different path. Why? It was quite clear that he felt more in his element climbing through a window rather than hunched over a dusty tome. How did you meet him? Ah, yes, quite an amusing anecdote, actually. I caught him trying to break into my laboratory. I was about to show him the error of his ways when he made a curiously astute comment about my research notes. I was astounded and in turn it led to a conversation. Who would have imagined it would lead to such a strong friendship? Calselmo is stubborn as a mule. Be careful when you speak to him. Will do. Okay, right. Let's go to uh, Markarth, which uh, I must admit is my probably one of the least favourite cities in this uh, game. Windhelm being the one that I hate the most, to be absolutely truthful. Okay, where are you? And there you are. Now, if you did the Agent of Mara quest, or sorry, um, the Book of Love quest. Uh, you've this also, you've already done uh, Kelsamo a favour, which will enable you to actually get the key off him, just by asking him. Your step on the higher levels. If there's trouble, come get me. Yes? Did you want something? Don't you dare forget and leave me here. Yeah, I'll leave these guys Otherwise here. I'm going to do gone. this super sneaky. Last time I did it, I just killed everybody. But uh, this time, Tyrone's a different option. Okay, let's go and see Kasama. Ah. 
Ah, yes, my matchmaker. What is it I can do for you? I hear you're an authority on ancient farmer. I am at this very moment on the cusp of completing my magnum opus on the subject. I'm calling it Calselmo's Guide to the Former Tongue. It will revolutionize the way we understand those ancient beings. Perhaps I could view your work. Preposterous. That research represents years of personal toil in some of the most dangerous Dwemer ruins in Skyrim. You must be mad to think I'd allow anyone to see it before it's completed. Even after everything I did for you and Feline? Well, I'm not blind to the fact that you've been instrumental in improving my affairs at the heart. If you wish, you may enter my tower to view the museum section. But I'm afraid the laboratories are still off limits. That's the best I can offer. Okay, what that means is you can go through the uh, the museum parts and you won't be hassled by the guards. Now, you can also get this museum key here as well, or you can pickpocket him. Okay, there's my mug crab, I'll pick it up later. Got it free off the Creation Club, so why not? But I'm waiting until I get my proper um, proper home before I get him. Okay, and we can run up here and the guard always stops us. Halt. The Dwemer Museum isn't open to anyone without... And just escape out of that. Bugger off. And then we go in. And if you want to practice your lick pocket, lick pocking, <laughs> lock picking, uh, uh, you can do here's loads and loads of uh, cases to, to unlock. But if you're in a thieves guild anyway, there's a little room with several different types of uh, 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 chests to unlock as well. So make use of those. Okay, now this is where you go into illegal territory. And I could do a speed run through this, but. Um, Terence's a thief at the moment, so we'll nick some stuff on the way. I'm not going to be like 100% thorough about it, but hey, why not? Let's make some money while we're here. The muffling invisibility spells are so good for this kind of character. Yeah, let's see if we've got anything worth nicking here. Oh, this old gem, nick that. And that one. Yeah, this is stuff about uh, centurions and spiders and stuff. There you go. Uh, that rod guides this spider and it's a bit of a mistake taking it. Okay, that sets off the trap there. Ah, damn it. I knew I shouldn't have taken that bloody spider rod. Oh, is it a spider dead as well? Ah. Oh. Laboratory quite good. Good. Okay, I wanted to do this and no kill. Uh, walk through, but hey, oh well, I'll live with it.
I'm not sure what that just did. Don't care. Okay, before we go through the door, let's, uh, is there anything worth nicking through here? Oh, a gold coin. I don't bother with Dwemer metals and stuff because I, uh, I never wear dwarven gear anyway. Ah, why not? Let's get these. Okay, some decent books set to get. Do you know why? Whenever I'm in sneak mode, I always want to whisper. Just some weights. Let the other one go around. Okay. Okay, that's easy. Now you got to watch that thing. If you run across that and you trigger it. Um, a couple of blades will pop out and they will kill you uh, unless you're really kind of decently armoured so I reckon this is the best way If you stand on this, it stops that cloud of poisonous gas. And so, if you step, step off it again, the gas will start to come back into the chamber. So, the idea is uh, to run across. Now, you can grab a body and put that on that button and then go through, but I can't bother with that. And plus, the fact uh, I'm playing a red guard, which is immune to 50% of poison, so yay, I don't care. But those of you that look a little bit weaker, bear that in mind, you can grab something and drop it on that uh, pressure plate.
Oh, I want that. That's handy if I would take a bite from something. You know, I just shut that door. Okay. Yeah, if you actually just... I've just been playing Dishonored 2. And, uh... You'd never get away with this stuff in uh, in this game. Oh, back up, back up, back up, back up. Go away, leave me alone. Okay, yeah, I won't bother nicking this stuff. Oh, I don't actually sold gems, nom nom. Yeah, you'd never get away with this in Dishonored. We want that. Sell to Delvin. And the door I tried to go through, which was locked earlier on, next to the uh, where we picked up the spider. That's a door bar. So that opens uh, back into here. See? This is balcony. Yeah, don't need that. Okay, come on, Soul Gem. Yeah, but lovely, lovely. I'm trying to put off the, the time when I've got to uh, uh, do my enchanting. Because it's going to level me up too quickly. I, I don't want to get to too high a level with this character. That's why I haven't been smithing armour and stuff. Paper and some charcoal. Just take another one just in case. Can't remember how many we need. Okay, what's in here? Oh, gold six. Oh, why not? Let's give it a go. Damn it. There you go. Job done. Ooh, still makes fire suppression. Okay, that's not bad. Can take the rubbing. Yes, I'm positive I heard something. I, 
Okay, yeah, so I only needed one. Okay. This tower alive. But shouldn't we inform Master Calselmo? I'll deal with my uncle. Just go. Scour this place from top to bottom. Okay, I think we made that, so the quickest way out of here is down here and to the right. Now, whatever you do, if you're going to do it this way, you can go back through the laboratories and stuff like that in the museum. Uh, but this is your quickest way, and the fun way, I think. Whatever you do, quick save before you do this. Okay. Right. What the idea is, is go to and just jump in and let yourself then slowly drop down. There you go. There you go. Yeah, nice and close and you should be okay there. Yeah, the trick is to get into the deep part of the pool. That's it. Okay, let's get the guys and get the uh, hell back. Just pop up to the unstone keep. There they are. Yes, I'm Come on, listening. girl, follow me. You came back for me? I mean, of course you did. Do you have something to say? Get out the way, girl. Waiting is boring. Shall Come we on, go? follow me, dude. I am right behind you. Okay, right, let's get back. Okay, still in the pub. Good lad. Come on in. We got warm food, warm drinks. Warm and oh, he's down in the basement. Okay. This should help translate Gallus's journal. Appropriate of me to ask how you obtained this, so I simply won't. Good idea. You're rubbing, eh? Odd. I expected notes. It's quite the tale. I understand. Now let me take a good look at this. Over here, please. Hmm. This is intriguing, but highly disturbing. It appears that Gallus had suspicions about Mercer Frey's allegiance to the Guild for months. Gallus had begun to uncover what he calls an unduly lavish lifestyle replete with spending vast amounts of gold on personal pleasures. Does the journal say where this wealth came from? Yes, Gallus seems certain that Mercer had been removing funds from the Guild's treasury without anyone's knowledge. Anything else, Enther? Anything about the Nightingales? Hmm. Yes, here it is. The last few pages seem to describe the failure of the Nightingales, although it doesn't go into great detail. Gallus also repeatedly mentions his strong belief that Mercer desecrated something known as the Twilight Sepulchre. Shadows preserve us, so it's true. I, I'm not familiar with the Twilight Sepulchre. What is it? What's, what's Mercer Frey done? I'm sorry, Anther. I can't say. All that matters is we deliver your translation to the Guild immediately. Farewell, Anther. Words can't express. It's all right, Carlia. You don't have to say a word. Uh, oh yeah, this is a really good book to uh, uh, 
learn about the Faum as well. Very interesting. Kind of makes you look at them in a slightly different light. Why didn't you kill Mercer? Branded me a murderer and slandered my name across his network of contacts. For 25 years I ran, never sleeping in the same place twice and carefully covering my tracks. Mercer doesn't need to die. He needs to feel the cold sting of fate as his life crumbles in front of him and he's hunted by the guild. Why not have a choice next I time? You, if it comes to that and my back's to the wall, I won't hesitate. Okay, let's talk to this guy. Listen, all I want is the truth to be revealed to the guild. They respected Carlia, and she deserves better. Do whatever you can, and I'd consider it a personal favor. Thank you, Infia. If trying to rid yourself of stolen goods becomes a burden, and you find yourself in Winterhold, visit me at the college. I've been known to handle items of questionable interest from time to time, and I'll see what I can do. Okay, let's open up another fence for us. If you have further need of me, you can find you me in the hasten to Riften before Mercer can do any more damage to the guild. Gus's journal mentioned the Twilight Sepulchre. So I see no harm in concealing it any longer. The Twilight Sepulchre is the temple to Nocturnal. It's what the Nightingales are sworn to protect with their lives. Why does it require that Everything type of protection? That Nocturnal's influence is contained within the walls of the Sepulchre. Now it seems Mercer's broken his oath with Nocturnal. And defiled the very thing he swore to protect. These and temples I felt just the doesn't same add up. Gallus first revealed these things to me. I think, given time, you'll understand what I mean. I understand As better if less girl, mystery was involved. I've been sworn to secrecy regarding the sepulchre. I know the guild doesn't do much to foster faith, but I'm going to have to ask that you continue to trust me. Very well. We'll do it your way from here. and scout the situation. See if I can discover what Mercer's up to. When you're ready, meet me at the Ragged Flagon. In the meantime, I wanted you to have this. It belonged to Gallus, but given the circumstances, I think he'd approve. I'll put it to good use. To listen to reason, you might have to. And we've got the Nightingale Blade. And now we're on the pursuit. Okay, let's have a quick look at this little lovely. Where are you? Come to me. Here you go. Damage 20. That's not a bad blade, actually. 15 points of stamina damage and 15 points of health. Pretty good, actually. Not bad. Okay, that's it. We're on the trail of old Mercer. I hope you enjoyed this vid, and I'll catch you next one. Later. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like, leave a comment, and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.